In this video we are going to talk about everyone's favorite topic and that is of course camera accessories or camera gear. What I consider to be essential accessories for any camera that I use but specifically for the Fujifilm X-T5 since that's the camera I'm using most these days with the 23mm. You'll get most of these items for other camera brands as well except for maybe two of them that are Fujifilm X-T5 specific or Fujifilm specific and I think they make the X-T5 look even cooler than it already is and stand out even more. I'll also share two budget lenses that I've just got my hands on. These are not really essentials, but if you're interested in those, I haven't tested them yet, but you'll get a first glance and my initial thoughts on them at the end of the video. But let's start with the first camera accessory that I would get for all my cameras. This is something I attach to any camera that I own. For the Fujifilm X-T5, this is called the 4136, I think, and it's from Smallrig. It gives the camera better grip. I have medium-sized hands and the bump in front there was just a little bit too small. I didn't like it. And it makes the camera a little bit taller. So I can easily wrap my hands around the camera and give it a better grip. It also protects the camera from wear and tear. So there's two in one right there. I'll get the L bracket any day of the week. This also fits on most camera tripod heads. So actually that's three in one, three in one for the L bracket. Great accessory for your camera. And like I said, you'll get these for most camera brands. What I didn't like about this specific one is that it unscrews quite quickly. It doesn't fall off or anything like that, but you have to tighten it all the time. You'll feel this when you are out shooting or operating your camera and just tighten it with a screw, not a problem. It's not a showstopper at all. And it's a very good product. I put this on my backpack, on the strap of my backpack. It's fantastic because I can easily hang it off there and it's really fast to deploy as well. So whenever I need a break, when I'm walking somewhere and I want to hang off my camera, I hang it there. I don't like these neck slings because it annoys my shoulders. So I really want that. I used to think it looked a little bit silly walking around with the camera there, but it's really rather practical and it secures your camera. There's just one thing that I have to mention about this and that is you have to tighten it really tight on your camera strap right there otherwise it will slip and your it's just annoying so remember that for your security or for your camera's security and the plate for this also tightens to the L bracket underneath and that sort of locks the uh, this unscrewing of that L bracket so these two items or these two products really complement each other I have the exact same thing on the other strap on the camera backpack that I use for my insta360 x3 POV camera setup Another product from Peak Design I consider to be an essential accessory for active photographers such as myself is this wrist strap. Also for security and I anchor this to my camera and I always have it on my wrist when I'm shooting. And when I'm not shooting, when I hang the camera off on that capture camera clip plate, it secures the camera even more because I use that on the, the wrist strap that goes across my chest. So it secures the camera double. But of course no product is ever perfect so it can be a little bit of a nuisance in the way if you will when you switch from shooting landscape to portrait this can be a little bit annoying what i do to fix this is to attach the anchor to the base plate then you of course have to get the base plate but they have dedicated holes for anchors or anything that you want to attach to the camera to secure your camera if you know of better wrist straps than the one from Peak Design, please do let me know in the comments. I would love to hear about them. I'm all about optimizing my gear to make it as streamlined as possible for me to create more and better content. These products really complement each other. So if you get a package of three products that are great that complements each other, I recommend these three first products. The Leica lookalike lens hood. Yeah, I know it's not specifically for the camera, but this is the lens I use when I'm doing my street photography. And I think they got it for the 33 millimeter as well as this 23 millimeter that I use. And this is purely cosmetical. I just think it looks great. It looks so cool. Like I said, a Leica lookalike-ish, something like that. It's made of metal, looks cool, fantastic. 
And those were my essential camera accessories that I would get for any camera for practical reasons. And like I said, they have these or similar items for most camera brands, except for that red, dark red shutter button button and the lens hood. Let's talk about this first. It's the 18 to 50 f2.8 from Sigma. What can I say? This is less than half the size and less than half the price. Yeah, you lose a little bit of reach with this lens, but for street photography and everything I do with my camera, I don't really mind. It remains to see what it can do optically and how good the images are. It doesn't have the aperture ring, which is something that you will just get used to, I imagine. But because of its size, this makes it more likely for me to always bring with me. And that's a big point. The less I have with me, the more I'm um, likely to create when I'm out shooting with my camera. So that's, that's this lens. Great option, I think, which I'll see in future videos. The other lens is the 30 millimeter also from Sigma. Same here. It's, I think it's about the same size, maybe a little bit smaller than the 33 millimeter from Fuji. And it's one third of the price. This one also doesn't have the aperture ring thing right here, so you'll have to adjust that on your camera. No big deal for me. What can I say when it's one third of the price? I think that's a great option. Since this is a prime, I expect this to be super sharp. Sigma is known to have great products. And since they started making lenses for the Fuji X system, I'm very excited to try these two lenses out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video and hit that notification bell so you will see future videos with these lenses. And um, if you like street photography, that's a good idea to subscribe to this channel. And I hope to see you in the next video. Short and sweet this time. Bye bye.